Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wonder of Wings, a brand new niche adventure where we are going to be searching for flying nichelings, which is going to be so exciting because even though the 1.1.1 update has been out for quite some time now, I have never actually seen a nicheling with wings, and I really, really want to, especially because I would love to dive into our very first Birds of Paradise challenge, and that is actually where we are going to be heading up pretty soon. I have some ideas for a Birds of Paradise challenge that would be all about some fantastically feathered males showing off their attractive tail feathers and trying to woo the local females. But I realized it would take a long time to actually start a Birds of Paradise challenge with our two starter nichelings and then find feathers and then be able to start the actual feathered part of the challenge. So this is actually a prequel series to our Birds of Paradise challenge called the Wonder of Wings, as I mentioned, that will be dedicated to searching out the winged genes that we are looking for. So welcome. We are here with our starter nichelings, usually named Adam and Eve. I have renamed them to Kita and Aka from your guys' nicheling name list, which thank you so much. Please keep them coming. I love having all the nicheling names. And they are going to begin the journey of searching for wings, which I have never seen in my games in niche, so I'm very, very excited to finally, finally stumble upon them. But we are going to use these two curious nichelings to start hunting throughout the world and trying to find the genes that will allow us to add feathers into our family tree. And once we get at least a few feathered males to pick from with fancy tail feathers and wonderful winged arms and perhaps even that special beak, then we can settle in and begin a new phase of the legacy of this tribe, which will be dedicated to the Birds of Paradise challenge. And once we unlock all of the wing abilities and the beak and the tail feathers, I will happily share the save file. So if you want to just start straight up with a bird Birds of Paradise challenge too, then you'll be able to do that without having to search out all the genes to start with. So that's the plan. I'm very excited. And this is going to be a pretty fast prequel as we move through just searching from island to island. I was really hoping that we would stumble on a tree stump here so that we could just stand on top of it and call again and again and again until hopefully we would have a nicheling with wings wander by. But I don't see any tree stumps here, so we'll probably spend a little bit of time uh, gathering up resources, maybe having a few babies, and then moving on. But the goal will be to try to unlock the genes, not just get the genes in the family by finding wanderers, but also unlock the three bird related genes that I'm really interested in. And that is going to be the wing gene, which means that you have to invite an animal with that gene into the tribe. So we do need to find somebody just wandering around with a wing. And then we need to perform the action fly 40 times. And then we also have to perform fly and attack on prey 15 times. So that's kind of interesting because it implies that the winged nichelings are supposed to be predators. But I have a feeling our birds of paradise will be more focused on gathering food through probably like nuts and berries and maybe digging them up with their beaks. And we also need to search for and unlock the bird beak ability. And in our Farsi tribe, we have bird beaks because we have unlocked them through performing fly, or not for, through performing fly, but through breeding them into the tribe. However, you can also perform fly 50 times and unlock the bird beak ability. So that's something we want to unlock to get the, the like birds of paradise challenge going too. And then finally, we also want to unlock the tail feathers. We, the, not the tail fin, uh, not the swing, the peacock tail right there. So we need to call to attract wild animals 50 times and then that will actually unlock the peacock tail ability. So those are the things that we are going for and hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to get all of those genes open without the tribe dying off. And from there, we'll be able to save, share the save file, and get ready to try out our first Birds of Paradise challenge. Because done right, I think the ideas I have for the Birds of Paradise could be really, really fun and just offer a lot of dynamic mini stories and a big legacy sort of play. And we'll talk about that when we eventually get there. But for now, you may be wondering, why? 
Why search out the wings? Why is our beautiful Keitha and her wonderful mate and best friend from her tribe, Akka, willing to leave their tribal lands and search out for these mysterious wings that no Nishling has seen before? And the answer is, one day, when the tribe was gathered in their peaceful meadow, gathering up all of the berries and playing- Ah, oh, there's a leech! Watch out! And playing by the riverside, a winged creature that was not a blue bird flew overhead, and it was large and majestic, its golden and red rippling fur in the wind, and a beautiful gold feather actually fell from the sky. And they left the feather behind because their tribe leader kind of claimed it as a tribal item. Icon, but it was just too curious and it really made Akka and Kita wonder what could be out there. So being a young couple and kind of finding their tribe a little bit crowded anyway, and being pretty adventurous, they decided to set out and see what they could find. And so that is why they are searching for wings and just have a very adventurous nature themselves that they will hopefully pass on to their offspring and begin <laughs> Uh, and begin finding the genes that we need. But let's see. All right. So the Kita's genes, let's give her a quick check out. I actually haven't looked them over yet. She has high fertility, normal blood clotting. That's always like the first thing I look at. Uh, and then she does have one digging paw and one runner's leg. So she should be able to gather quite a bit of food, medium body. She has recessive cracker jaw and recessive short-sighted eyes. So we'll probably want to go ahead and give her normal eyesight to start with and then she also has ram horns and uh recessive antlers so that's pretty good too and it looks like we'll have ram horns going strong in this tribe because Akka also has ram horns. He also has healthy blood clotting and high fertility. Fantastic. And he has some really beautiful mask patterning that I really, really love on him too. He's also got a velvet paw and a claw. And I would really love if he could have... I'm gonna try giving him runner's leg so we can try to have more collecting because we want to keep these guys, yeah, and he's got normal eyesight. We want to keep these guys constantly on the move, searching out with their descendants for those winged genes. But let's see, I guess there's a little bit of food here so we can maybe step like, I think the fish are gonna run from us <laughs> if we move towards them. Ah, yeah, the fish, sure enough, they ran from us. Uh, and now I wonder, can I get the leech before it gets us? Okay, yes I can. All right, so we did get the leech at least. But all right, oh, and look at the crabbit staring at us in the background. Hey, hey, you, you better watch out, buddy. Soon we're gonna have wings and a bird beak and we will take you out, so you behave yourself. But all right, let's do this. Oh, what, what, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, it's a sign. Holy cow, I think that they would, they would really, I mean, this is clearly a creature that all baby nichelings know to fear from birth, but what a sign to suddenly have one of the blue birds actually show up over your head. Oh my gosh, that's kind of hilarious. All right, well, let's gather up some fish. Uh, and I think that these two, I don't think they'd be trembling in fear, but I think they would feel like they, they must clearly be on the right path if already there is a winged creature overhead, uh, even if it's a dangerous winged creature. So let's have Kita kind of come back here and I'm gonna have her jump into the bushes. What is this? <gasps> Whoa, bird of prey, fly. Oh, you can attack the, the bird? What? What? Bird of prey attack. Flying ability not high enough. Okay, that that is cool. So Kita is actually thinking about how she would attack this bird. How she would try to like con gain control and dominance over it, which is kind of amazing. All right, and meanwhile, Akka, I think, is not going to let the food slip by him. So he was going to gather the last of the fish that he could reach before diving into the bushes. Is it just me? Or is this bird lower than it has ever been before? What is that? Is he gonna try to attack us? No way, okay, let's let's have everybody, they're gonna start moving out of the way, I think. And maybe under this coconut tree. Where do we wanna move? Maybe we'll move over to this island because we really, really, really wanna find, whoa! I don't wanna move to this island, jeez Louise. That's, that looks ominous. Oh my gosh, um, or maybe this island looks pretty good. Actually, this island looks really good to me So we'll come over here and we will try moving 
to that island uh, once they get a little bit older and have a kid or two. Uh, all right, but they can gather up some food right here for now together. Yeah, the bird is so much lower than it normally is. And there's a leech coming for us. Man, these two have really like began their life in a place where there's gonna be like a lot of drama apparently. So we'll go ahead and gather more berries. There were a ton of them on that bush, holy cannoli. And then we'll jump over and I guess they'll kind of follow where the bird's going. I've never seen it fly that low before. That is so interesting. So, I mean, I can't blame them for being curious. So we'll jump to the other side and jump up and gather up a couple more berries. And then I think they'll like dive. Oh, there's lots of roots here. I think they'll just dive into the grasses to kind of stay out of the bird's way, but I've never had the bird be that low before. I wasn't ready for that. All right, let's, let's keep moving. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to move. And the berry bush doesn't want to let me go. It just has so much food. Um, oh, and there's another berry bush. What the heck? This place is abundant with food. Maybe we should have our first kid over here, but the bird is literally lurking over our heads. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that, but they are already getting kind of into middle age. Ah, the first adventurous nichelings do age up so quickly. Oh my gosh, and there's coconuts falling all over the place. This is a really abundant place full of food, so I guess we cannot neglect that fact. Um, so, you know what? I think that Keitha would would agree, and she would want to have a child about now. So let's go ahead and try having their first child, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, well, he's already going to pass on normal eyesight. Alright, so Akka will come over. They'll go ahead and mate, and Keitha will make herself comfortable. And we'll have Akka come back over here and gather from this berry bush because the bird is flying off now. And I feel like Kita thinks it is just, it is time. Time to have her, their first child. <gasps> it's a little boy. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're actually going to name him Echoes after some of the names that you guys have left and have popped onto my nicheling name list. And so this little guy is so cute. Oh my gosh. He's really adorable. And he has a big nose, good for smelling. He's healthy, that's what really matters. Uh, he has swimming tail, nothing super fancy or new just yet, but there we go. And we'll gather up some food and we'll let his mom kind of step to the side and gather up some food. They're not very fast on food gathering and the bird has flown away. So I'm not quite as nervous about that anymore. Oh my gosh, the berries are really abundant and there's, <laughs> There's kind of a crave. I'm a little worried the crave might attack the baby, which I know doesn't really happen. But all the same, I'm going to move the baby this way. Oh, well, I guess he's still in line for the crave. Um, and pop down here. Mate, watch over baby who might be might be pinched by I guess the worst thing that can happen to him is he can be pinched by a crave and learn early in life not to mess with them. And then we'll have a couple more babies. Oh, a little girl. Yay, a little girl. Okay, and it's raining again. Jeez, this is like a really, really lucky tribe. And we're going to name the little girl Basia. There we go. All right, or Basi. So we have Basi and Echoes. And again, that's a name just plucked straight off the nicheling name list. And now Echoes is old enough. I think he can actually help his dad with gathering things because he's a much faster gatherer. And Akka can start kind of searching around the area a little bit. Uh, and maybe gathering some things himself. So Echoes will come over. He's gonna help to gather. Kita will come down. I think we'll just have like a cluster of babies and then get moving before the end of their lifetime. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and let Akka kind of explore a little bit. Oh, there's a whole bunch of fish. All right, I'm gonna let him do a little bit of fishing because I think he likes to eat fish. There we go. Whoa, that scared me. There's like a crack over where Akka is, but it just happens to be, there we are. It just happens to be uh, where the reflection of the tree is. All right, and I'm gonna have Kita move down. That crabbit is kind of hilarious. And the fact that it doesn't want to budge. Echoes is a much faster berry picker than both of his parents. And it looks like Akka has to wait. Aha, the fish. Akka is a very good fisher. And we have another little boy. Okay, fantastic. <gasps> yes, we have 
We have a wanderer, our very first wanderer, and she has a finned paw. Not what we're really looking for, but her name is Sienna, and she has gill and F and A immunity. So she might actually be a good addition, and apparently she was attractive. Who was this? When did we have a dead wanderer in the waters? Okay, there's a lot more wanderers lately, and things could get very interesting. But let's have Echoes come down, because he found her, and... Uh, just as a, as a child does, invite her into the tribe without really thinking about it while well, his father is busy fishing. And Sienna has, let's see, webbed paw, so she's good at swimming. She has swimming tail, and she does have one claw, so she should be able to do a little fishing. So nice! And she has F and A immunity, which would actually make a good mate for Echoes if we so wished, uh, but not a good mate for the new baby boy who we are actually going to name. Let's see. Hmm. Some of these names are a little a little complex, but we're going to name him Tun uh uh Tunri. There we go. All right. So Tanri or Tunri uh, is going to be the newest baby. And I think Basia smells uh, Basia. <laughs> the Kravit is chasing you. I don't know how she would feel about that. Uh but I think Basia smells the nuts and so she's coming over here to try to nibble on the nuts. And Kita, I believe, wants to be with her mate, but we have now used up the nest now that we have three children. Uh, we still have seven days left, but it might be a good time to start moving along so that we can make it to another island. I mean, this is a really good spot, so maybe we could gather more food first. All right, we'll focus on food gathering for just a little bit. And Sienna over here, we can rename her... I want to rename her maybe something water related. So let's find where you guys suggested so many of the names that had to do with water for the C Sirens of the Sea. And we might actually try playing with the Sirens of the Sea pretty soon because I'm feeling like the update is a bit more stable, but I really want to try out the Birds of Paradise first. So let's see. Hmm. We'll go ahead. Let's see. I'm trying to find something that really would work for her. We'll go ahead and name her Pebble, which doesn't seem that exciting, but I kind of like, well, not Pebble because she doesn't really look like a petal, Pebble. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and name her. Sorry, it, it's harder than it sounds. Bubble. Okay, Bubble is one of the names suggested in the section for the Sirens of the Sea where it's all about water. And I don't know, she kind of reminds me of a fun little bubble, doesn't she? There's something about her. So, all right, she has now joined our tribe as well. I think she may have a little bit to teach the tribe in what it takes to kind of swim around the waters and discover who knows what. Uh, oh, is she going to drown down here? All right, let's get her out of the water. Ah, no! And discover how to blow bubbles under the water, apparently, as she kind of drowns under it. Uh, but I think that this is going to work. So we're, we've got our little ragtag group together. Now that the nest is falling apart, I kind of feel like that signifies that Kita is done having children for the moment. And we'll gather up a ton of food and start moving on. So hopefully, between the wanderers and between finding somewhere where there will be a fantastic tree stump that we can call upon, we will be able to start unlocking all of the genes we're searching for and discovering the wonders of wings. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.